Hey, it's Chris from Web Motor Works. We're doing the electric small block Chevy build here, and uh, we're going to do the battery boxes. So just pretend they're not already built. Um, these are the batteries we're using. These are called LifePo or lithium iron phosphate batteries. Um, some people call them lithium ions. So what we've got here is this is 3.2 volts. Now I need 96 volts, so I have 30 of them times 3.2 is 96 volts and these are pretty good these are 200 amperes so you multiply that together and you get 19,200 kilowatt hours so that tells you how long the batteries are going to last now with lithium ion you can uh, discharge them down 80 percent whereas lead acid batteries you can discharge them down 50 percent so it's way better in that regard plus these are probably going to be about 450 pounds whereas if it was lead acid it'd be probably close to 2,000 pounds but about a quarter of the price so but th these are really nice batteries so um, we're gonna we're gonna go through the build my daughter Emily she's going to be welding and her uncle Robbie is going to give her a hand and uh, yeah let's do the build laying out these batteries on the back of the hay see how much room I got I want to fit them in between the frame rails and I need to build a battery box for them they do come in this battery box like this. You can see there's four of them. Beautiful aluminum casing, but it tends to keep them apart in the middle by an inch. And I have to uh, join them together with these, so I need custom pieces. So I think I'll take them apart. Um, see these that just have screws like this. But I've come up with an invention, which I think you electrocise with light. Is called an electric drill and it speeds this process up quite a bit okay so I'm gonna build my battery boxes and a lot of you guys are gonna say, you know why is this guy using wood well this is marine plywood it's stable it's expensive uh, but it's for the do-it-yourselfer it's easy to build a box out of plywood I'm gonna line it with uh, some rubber on the inside where the battery goes and then we're just gonna use this as a template for our metal and it's a rat rod too, so you know that doesn't matter. But it's just a simple way of doing it. A lot of guys do, you know, they get the aluminum boxes made up, and but it's expensive, and it, you can't. A lot of guys can't do it themselves. So this is just an easy way to do it. So we got all these things to do and Emmy and uh, Kelsey aren't around so uh, just just bear with me here there we go so pretend I'm Kelsey okay what do you want me to do next dad here do this Kelsey okay how's that dad perfect Kelsey So I got my assistants here. What we want to do is see how much travel we got on the springs because we're going to set the height of the battery boxes. I'm trying to get them as low as I can, but of course we've got the rear end and shackles and drive shafts and all that type of stuff. So I've invited the largest people I know over to help me out and they're going to bounce up and down on my truck. Okay, and I'll measure it, guys. Wait till I get under there. Jeez, I need a shower now. All the crap from the old 200 years of my truck fell on me. <laughs> Jesus, what the... Where'd that come from? <laughs> Do you need that piece? You might later. Came out of my head. <laughs> Robbie's going to cut the hole here. Um, so you measured it. What is it? Measure it once, cut twice? Something like that. All right, perfect. Yeah. We're all set. It's not square, but I allowed for the fact it's a rat rod. Oh, okay. So I gave it an extra half inch or two. Perfect. Ow! Just 
kids. <laughs> So what my plan is, is I want to kind of ha hide the batteries with a few different things. So throw this up on top, you guys. So this is the old gas tank. So, this kind of kind of, so we're going to cut it and drop it down so you won't, you won't realize this. You'll think the flat deck's down at this level. And then we're going to throw this hollowed out engine here. See how it's hollowed out? This was actually displayed for SEMA. Give us a hand here, man. Line it up. That's gonna kind of go on here, probably up against the barrel or some rock. And then it's gonna look like, oh, I went down to the wreckers and picked up this motor. You know, probably make it look old or whatever. This is a B, uh, B12, Lincoln B12. Can you see it where the batteries are gonna hide? Mm -hmm. You want the point? The boys are making me finish up the rest of the welds on the battery box. Cause we're going for dinner. And beer! Hurry up. <laughs> We're going to be adding these weld on pin hinges to the end of the uh, metal deck that we just built. And actually, the whole thing is going to lift up, including the old flathead and the, and the barrel. So you'll be able to lift it up from the back and it'll pivot and then that'll expose all the batteries and you can get in there and check them out. So um, I've tacked it all and now we're just gonna give it a lift to see if the hinges work and look at that, it's smooth. So now I'll just finish welding it and we're good to go. Okay, so that was uh, building the batteries. Um, we still got to put some straps on here and, you know, we got to hide this, but I think we'll do that in another video. Um, so if you want to subscribe to the YouTube, you can uh, subscribe there and then you won't miss a beat. And we got a bunch of other projects coming on board too. I'm going to be doing a, an electric flathead. That was sort of my passion. I kind of like that. And I got a few top secret projects uh, on the go here with my girls. So yeah, thank you.